Hello YouTube. This evening I'm going to be doing a reading. It's going to be rather serious. This is going to be a bit long. From Tactical Rabbit, Intelligence Report, Black Lives Matter Movement. Tactical Rabbit Premium Intelligence Services at www.tacticalrabbit.com. Firstly, salute. This is a, you, you've done a hell of a job here, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone wants to believe that the Black Lives Matter BLM movement is a well-intentioned effort to address the serious racial tensions that exist in American society, and specifically those that have been in the media spotlight when blacks have died during encounters with law enforcement. Unfortunately, it is important to understand that the top leadership of BLM and its ultimate aims go far beyond that. The BLM network organized in 2013 is a front project of the Marxist-Leninist Freedom Road Socialist Organization, or FRSO. The BLM coordinators and co-founders are well-known Marxist agitators that work towards the downfall of the United States government. BLM activists represent a significant threat to law-abiding American citizens and law enforcement officers. The outward slogan, Black Lives Matter, is a moving call to action, but it is not representative of the organizer's true anti-American goals or the activity of outside network groups that have adopted the hashtag Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is being used as a conduit for extreme left-wing politics and a tool to publicize anti-Israeli activity. Private funders are using BLM members as pawns to stoke racial hatred and further their global agenda. Since 2013, BLM riots in American cities have caused loss of life, damage to property, disruptions of transportation systems, and have even required the use of National Guard troops. BLM poses a significant threat to American communities, civilians, and law enforcement officers. BLM co-founders and many BLM activists have shown a sustained disregard for U.S. laws and law enforcement officers. Activists, supported by BLM, have incited violent demonstrations resulting in riots and destruction of property, along with civilian harm and the multiple deaths of law enforcement officers. Individuals responsible for the ambush and murder of multiple law enforcement officers across the nation have used the BLM platform to rationalize their crimes. Members of the BLM network define their actions as being, quote, at war, unquote, with the United States government. Black Lives Matter, BLM, and the Movement for Black Lives, M. 4 BL are FRSO or Freedom Road Socialist Freedom Road Socialist um, organization sponsored or is sponsored organizations the FRSO is identified as the quote hereditary descendant unquote of the new communist movement FRSO advocates the most severe form of marxist ideology FRSO funds dozens of organizations and individuals calling for the downfall of the U.S. government. BLM and FRSO condemn Israel for conducting, quote, a terrorist war of Zionism against the Arab Palestinian people and their sacred rights, unquote. <clears throat> FRSO and BLM organizations are generously supported by secretive wealthy foundations known to underwrite socialist and communist activities. The FRSO's membership disproportionately represents blacks, gays, and women, emphasizes issues that resonate with these demographic groups. The FRSO arranges both public and private funding for BLM entities. BLM has become a well-funded arm of the socialist communist platform. The network's entities were created by socialist backers designed to undermine important segments of American society, capitalism, and democracy. Its organizers are well-known Marxist agitators that openly call for the downfall of the United States government. The BLM co-founders are educated in anti-democracy activities practiced under modern communism. Co-founders of the Black Lives Matter platform, Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, Patrice Cullors. Garza, Cullors, and Tometi have all previously worked at and continued to be employed for front groups 
of the Freedom Road Socialist Organization, FRSO. The FRSO's published goal is, quote, ellipsis, a single unified multinational communist party, unquote, and it is recognized as one of the four largest radical left organizations in the United States. See the addendum at the end of this report for more intelligence on each BLM co-founder. Black Lives Matter is a violence promoting movement and its insurgents and, and its insurgent protest have contributed to an atmosphere of hatred against and violence toward police officers across the nation. The group and its many affiliates agitation has directly resulted in police killings, community violence, lawlessness, and a paralyzing unrest for people of all ages living in minority communities throughout the United States. Through statements and activities, Black Lives Matter co-founders support lawlessness, anti-Semitism, and anti-American activity. The BLM organizers' use of various hashtags across social media to incite activists include the following samples. Hashtag Black Lives Matter, hashtag Tamir Rice, hashtag Eric Garner, hashtag Mike Brown, hashtag Ferguson 2, number 2, Palestine, hashtag Shaw shooting, hashtag Blackout Black Friday, hashtag I Can't Breathe, hashtag This Ends Today. <laughs> Dangerous Activities of BLM. The published goals of the BLM platform directly conflict with the lawful, activity of American society imposes significant threat to U.S. citizens' lives and property. Using the hashtag Black Lives Matter, the, group, the group's activists have instigated riots, violence against police officers and civilians, as well as unrest in minority communities across the United States. BLM incited activities and protests have led to the deaths of multiple police officers, including assassination-style killings. When black criminal suspects have died in the course of confrontation with police officers, BLM protesters have incited violent riots in communities across the nation. Prominent cases include the deaths of Eric Garner, New York, Mike Brown, Ferguson, Missouri, Tamir Rice, Cleveland, Timothy Russell, Cleveland, Melissa Williams, Cleveland, and Freddie Gray, Baltimore. Below is a summary of key aspects of BLM activities, activists, and events. During November 2014 in Ferguson, Missouri, police used tear gas to disperse crowds who were throwing rocks and shattering store windows while shouting the slogan, Black Lives Matter, as two police cars were set on fire along with looting at stores and gunfire. Ferguson Mayor James Knowles III called for National Guard troops to protect his city. The rioting was so widespread in the community that the nearby airport Lambert St. Louis International issued a temporary flight restriction stating that all incoming flights were not permitted to land during the BLM protests as a safety precaution. Also in November, FBI agents arrested two Ferguson bomb suspects. The men were reported to be buying explosives they planned to detonate during protests in Ferguson after a grand jury decided the Michael Brown case. In March 2015, two police officers in Ferguson were ambushed and shot by a gunman who opened fire during a late night protest against the police. The event took place in front of the police station during which protesters chanted Black Lives Matter. In April 2015, after the death of Freddie Gray while in police custody, the Black Lives Matter movement began protests in Baltimore, Maryland. The riots turned violent, resulting in 34 arrests and injuries to 15 police officers. After Gray's funeral, civil disorder intensified with the looting and burning of local businesses. These BLM protesters culminated in a state of emergent protests culminated in a state of emergency declaration by Governor Larry Hogan and the Maryland National Guard being deployed in Baltimore. At that time, the governor also activated 500 state troopers for duty in Baltimore, requesting an additional 5,000 police officers from other locales. In September 2015, BLM supporter and demonstrator Joseph Thomas Johnson Shanks, a 25-year-old convicted felon, shot and killed a rookie Kentucky state trooper named Joseph Cameron Ponder after a high-speed chase. In May 2016, 33-year-old BLM activist Charles Wade, who had been the topic of articles in several newspapers, had been recently invited to the White House, was indicted on seven criminal charges, 
including felonious sex trafficking for pimping out a 17-year-old girl. The charges carried sentences of up to 25 years in prison and a $15,000 fine. In July 2016, during a Black Lives Matter protest in Dallas, an African-American sniper identified as 25-year-old Micah Xavier Johnson of Mesquite, Texas, shot and killed five Dallas police officers and wounded seven others in the ambush. The killer posted comments online showing he supported the new Black Panther Party, a group that has advocated violence against whites and Jews. During July 2016, in Bristol, Tennessee, a man yelling, police suck, Black Lives Matter, opened fire on motorists, killing a woman and wounding three people, including a police officer. Also in July 2016, an African-American man from Missouri named Gavin Long ambushed and killed three law enforcement officers and wounded three others during a shooting spree in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Before murdering the two police officers and a sheriff's deputy, his social media posts praised the Dallas shooter who had earlier killed five police officers. Across the nation, in mid-July 2016, at least 198 Black Lives Matter activists were arrested during protests in New York City, New York, Chicago, Illinois, St. Paul, Minnesota, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Black Lives Matter demonstrations have unfolded in various other cities around the United States, including Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. On July 18, 2016, 13 Black Lives Matter protesters were arrested after shutting down I-95 near Richmond, Virginia. One of the arrested was quoted saying, we support the National Black Lives Matter movement's demands to disarm the police, divest from prisons, and ensure safe and clean housing for black communities. In July 2016, at least 41 Black Lives Matter activists who spilled onto Minnesota roadway I-35 West and blocked traffic chanting Black Lives Matter were arrested. Prominent Black Lives Matter activist Jason Gardner was arrested July or er, August 1st, 2016 in Louisville, Kentucky. He was driving a stolen car and had an outstanding Indiana warrant that stemmed from a 2003 forgery and theft case in Indianapolis. In August 2016, Dominique Alexander, the leader of the activist group behind the Dallas Black Lives Matter July 7th protest, was arrested for 10 outstanding warrants in two counties. Alexander is the founder of the Next Generation Action Network, which organized the Dallas BLM March where gunman Micah X. Johnson shot and killed five police officers in five police officers and wounded nine other civilians. Atlanta Black Lives Matter leader Tyree Sir Major Conyers Page has been arrested multiple times for impersonating a law enforcement officer. Page was arrested in January for claiming he was an FBI agent and again in mid-August for impersonating a police officer. In an earlier incident on October 14, 2015, Page was again arrested for impersonating an officer. America under attack through the BLM platform. Foreign criminal cartels that are working directly with Iran, such as Hezbollah in Latin America, currently pose a significant threat to America. These terrorist groups and state sponsors of terrorism use BLM protests such as the one in Ferguson, Missouri to weaken U.S. capacity to advance counterterrorism operations and asymmetric attacks. The foreign press also took advantage of the BLM protests, for, protests in Ferguson. State-run Russian media seized on this event to paint America as a racially torn country. The Russians have even issued a request for Michael Brown's parents to take their case to United Nations torture panel. BLM's anti-Israel, anti-Semitic orientation. The BLM agenda, as well as the goals behind the movement for black lives, are decidedly Marxist. The BLM organization is funded by anti-Israel, non-governmental organizations engaged in a fight to end the state of Israel. BLM members oppose the United States government's support of Israel and profess a hatred of Israel. 
BLM has adopted a platform that falsely accuses Israel of genocide and apartheid. By pledging support to Palestinian groups, BLM members have also aligned themselves with designated terrorist organizations such as Hamas. In January 2015, BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors joined other activists in a 10-day trip to the Palestinian territories in the West Bank. The BLM object objective during the trip was to publicly draw a parallel between what they defined as Israeli oppression of the Palestinians and police violence against blacks in the United States. This BLM socialist platform urges the United States government to end all aid to Israel and exhorts black institutions to support the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement against the Jewish state. There's no explanation for citing against a Jewish nation fighting terrorism except anti-Semitism. Black Lives Matter not only opposes U.S. support of Israel, but the Marxist group openly aligns itself with terrorists. The BLM organization has declared solidarity with the Palestinian cause and issued significant anti-Israeli statements such as the following, declaring support for the global boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement, calling Israel an apartheid state, characterizing the ongoing war in Gaza and the West Bank as genocide. Freedom Road Socialist Organization, P.O. Box 87613, Chicago, Illinois, 60. 680-0613, found at www.frso.org or at info at frso.org. In May 2001, the FRSO issued the group's worldview and major objection, objectives in a unity statement. The document declared that its activists, quote, must be prepared to advance our interests and defend the people by any means necessary, unquote. The following items <clears throat> were among the many pro-socialist anti-American statements. Capitalism, as a system centered on private accumulation and profit, is inherently a system of inequality, injustice, and war. The U.S. was built on land stolen from indigenous peoples and by the labor of enslaved Africans. Socialism is the only solution for the future of humanity. Capitalism breeds mass hunger, disease, environmental destruction, poverty, and economic collapse. Marxist-Leninist theory and practice is necessary to guide us in making revolutionary change here in the United States. In May 2002, FRSO was a signatory to an anti-Israel, anti-American resolution against Zionist and imperialist aggression in the Arab world. This anti-Semitic document featured condemnations of the following. The terrorist war of Zionism against the Arab-Palestinian people and their sacred rights, the Zionist occupation and colonization of Arab land in Palestine, Lebanon, and Syria, the imperialist genocidal embargo of the United States of America and Great Britain against the Arab-Iraqi people and the preparation of a new imperialist war in the Gulf. In 2004, the FRSO published a statement on national oppression which included racist anti-American statements calling for an overthrow of the United States government. Since it is the system of imperialism that profits from and causes national oppression, only the overthrow of the system can end national oppression. National oppression in the United States is white supremacist national oppression. Only socialism, which ends capitalist exploitation and brutal racism, can improve the lives of the masses of people of the oppressed nationalities and end all forms of national oppression. FRSO statements made in 2004 at the 4th Congress of the Freedom Road Socialist Organization detail the growing threat of Marxism in America. Quote, only socialism can liberate the masses of oppressed nationalities in the United States. A party is needed that is capable of leading the masses of people in abolishing capitalism and reorganizing for a society that serves the needs of working and oppressed people. Socialism, unquote. In 1999, the FRSO split into two separate groups, FRSO Fight Back at www.frso.org and FRSO OSCL, www.freedomroad.org. Organización 
socialista del camino para la libertad. Black Lives Matter and its, or and its founders are closely are allied closely with FRSO OSCL. The URL freedomroad.org was registered on March 17, 1998, and FRSO.org was registered on June 14, 1999. Middle East Arab Spring Comparison. Sorry, had something on the stove. Black Lives Matter organizers have drawn comparisons between the Middle East Arab Spring and protests, property destruction, and violence at the hands of protesters during Black Lives Matter riots. For these activists who envision themselves at, quote, at war, unquote, with the United States, protest movements in urban cities such as Baltimore signal an American Black Spring, quote, unquote, the Marxist FRSO supports splitting up America into separate nations based on race. This absurd idea is published on the group's website has been advocated by FRSO members since 2001. The leader of the new Black Panther Party agrees with the dissolution of the United States and the redistribution of lands based on race. According to the new Black Panther Party, Babu Omowale, declares the five southern states will be taken over by Black Lives Matter, Black Panthers, and other Black national groups to create their nation within a nation. Black people are to receive the southern states such as Georgia and the Carolinas, while Chicanos would rule southwestern states such as California and Arizona. The following statements were copied directly from the FRSO website in 2016. The course of struggle in the, in the U.S., forged a new nation among African Americans based in the Black Belt agricultural region of the U.S. South. Since before the Civil War, African American fighters for liberation have asserted the demand for land and justice, as well as the demand for complete equality throughout the United States. We stand in that tradition. We support self-determination for the African American nation. As this struggle gains momentum, this may eventually include the establishment of an independent African-American nation based in the South. We defend the right to independent African-American organization necessary to achieve this liberation, including the right to separate African-American revolutionary parties. As a result of historical developments since the annexation of Mexican land by the United States, there emerged an oppressed Chicano-Mexican nation of Aztlan, since annexation, there has been a continuous struggle for land and justice, tierra y libertad. We support the right to self-determination up to and including secession for that nation. We defend the right to independent Chicano-Mexican organization necessary to achieve this liberation, including the right to separate Chicano-Mexican parties. We support struggles of national liberation for all other nations brutalized by imperialist oppression whose homelands are within the borders of the United States, such as the Native American nations of the U.S., the Hawaiian nation, and the Puerto Rican struggle for national independence. Source www.frso.org about UNI Statement 2001.htm. BLM Funding. In the summer of 2016, the Ford Foundation and Borealis Philanthropy formed the Black-Led Movement Fund, BLMF, a six-year pooled donor campaign whose goal was to raise $100 million for the Movement for Black Lives Coalition. This $100 million of BLMF funding is in addition to more than 33 million in grants to the Black Lives Matter movement from top Democratic Party donor George Soros through his Open Society Foundations. This money complements other funding sources, including capital from the Hill Snowden Foundation, Solidaire, the Novo Foundation, the Association of Black Foundation Executives, and the Neighborhood Funders Group. On August 1st, 2016, BLM issued a statement articulating its policies and demands. 
entitled, quote, A Vision for Black Lives, Policy Demands for Black Power, Freedom, and Justice, consists of six core demands and 38 policy priorities. These demands are characterized by an ideal of unapologetic blackness, quote, unquote. The first statement in the BLM list of demands echoes this group's perilous charge that BLM is now engaged in a war with, Amer with the American government. Several of these demands are clearly modeled on those put forth by the Black Panther Party in the 1960s. Some statements included in the BLM document are direct quotes from the manifesto of the Communist Party. The platform calls for defunding police departments, race-based reparations, voting rights for illegal immigrants, fossil fuel divestment, an end to private education and charter schools, a universal basic income, and free college for blacks. Addendum, co-founders of the Black Lives Matter platform. Garza, Alicia, online and social media. Twitter.com, Alicia Garza. Facebook.com, the period one period, the period, one, spelled out, period, and, period, only, period, Alicia Garza, uh, blacklivesmatter.com, action.movementforblacklives.org, www.facebook.com, blacklivesmatter, blacklivesmatter.tumblr.com, twitter.com, black, blk lives matter, at blk lives matter, black lives matter primary Twitter account, Garza says she was born on March 4th, 1981, but no public records can be found that confirm this date of birth. She currently serves on the board of directors for the School of Unity and Liberation, Seoul, in Oakland, California, and is a contributing writer for War Times magazine. She received the Local Hero Award from San Francisco Bay Guardian. <laughs> in San Francisco Bay Guardian, and... The Jean Gauna Communicate Justice Award from the Center for Media Justice in 2008. She has twice been honored by the, huh, of course, Harvey Milk Democratic Club with the Bayard Rustin Community Activist Award for her work fighting gentrification and environmental racism in San Francisco's largest remaining black community. I'm figuring that's Hunter's point. Garza is a self-described queer, quote-unquote, black veteran activist involved in numerous organizations. Four of the groups with which Garza has been affiliated, NW, NDWA, Soul, RTTC, and Power, are front groups for the Marxist-Leninist Freedom Road Socialist Organization. She was the Special Projects Director, director for the National Domestic Workers Alliance, a group with two... With 2013 revenues of 5.5 million and powered by 48 affiliate organizations, www.domesticworkers.org. She was also executive director of People Organized to Win Employment Rights, Power, a group with 2013 revenues of $456,676, including $92,173 in government grants. Power evolved from the now defunct communist group Storm, standing together to organize a revolutionary movement. Power merged into Causa, Causa Justa, I guess, uh, as of January 1st, 2015. Causa Justa is a black Latino solidarity organization allied with the Grassroots Global Alli Justice Alliance, RTTC, and others. Uh, at cjjc.org. One member of the Causa Justa's board of directors is Michelle Foy, a prominent member of the FRSO. She was the 2011 board chair of Right to the City Alliance, RTTC. RTTC is a nationwide network that opposes inner city, quote unquote, gentrification that displaces quote, low-income people, people of color, marginalized LGBTQ communities, and youths of color from their historic urban neighborhoods, unquote. 
She aligns herself with and often quotes and makes comparisons to the life and actions of Asata Shakur and the Black Liberation Movement. In May 2013, Asata Shakur was named to the FBI's most wanted terrorist list with an award of up to $2 million for her capture. To Medi, Opal, I, online and social media, twitter.com, Opalayo, twitter.com, B-A-G-I, tweet, www.opaltometi.com, name variations, Opal Tometi, or Tom, Tomet, Opal, I, Tometi, Opal, Tometi, Opal, I, Tometi, Opal, T, Tometi, Opal, T-I-T-I, Tometi, Opal, T-I-T-I-L-A-Y-O, <clears throat> Born in 1984 to parents who had immigrated illegally from Nigeria to the United States during the previous year, Opal Tometi grew up in Phoenix and attended the University of Arizona Tucson, where she earned a bachelor's in history and a master's in communication advocacy. Tometi's official Baji, B-A-J-I profile describes her as a black feminist writer, communications strategist, and cultural organizer. Since 2011, Tometi has been a national organizer for the Black Alliance for Just Immigration, BAJI, and has also served as the group's executive director. The BAJI is clearly identified as a front group for the Freedom Road Socialist Organization. The BAJI is a George Soros-funded group that strives to advance, quote, immigrant rights and racial justice, unquote, for, quote, African-American, Afro-Latino, African and Caribbean immigrant communities, unquote. BAJI is the coordinating entity for BIN, the Black Immigration Network, which is BAJI, I'm figuring they wanted only one J in there, flagship program. It is a nationwide network of Black-led organizations, programs, and individuals uniting for racial justice and migrant rights. Tometi has served as BIN's executive director and co-director BIN website, blackimmigration.net. Its phone number is 347-410-5312. Tometi is a board member of the Puente Human Rights Movement a group that opposes efforts to stem the flow of illegal immigration. Its headquarters is 1306 East Van Buren Street in Phoenix, Arizona, 85006-3438. Its phone number is 602-252-1283. She has also been active in a network called Black Organizing for Leadership and Dignity, BOLD, at boldorganizing.org which teaches black activists how to help build a social justice infrastructure, quote unquote. Bold is, a con is controlled by the Freedom Road Socialist Organization. Tometi holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in History and a Master's of Arts degree in Communication Advocacy from the University of Arizona. Colors, Patrice, Marie, online and social media, www.patricecolors.com. C U L L O R S, Twitter.com, O Sope, O S O P E, on Facebook. Okay, this is a profile number. Um, dignityandpowernow.org, Facebook.com, Dignity and Power Now, Twitter.com, Power Dignity. <laughs> Name variations Colors, Marie, Colors, Parties. Colors, Patrice, Colors, Patrice M, Colors, Patrice Marie, C-Y-L-L-O-R-E, Patrice, Colors, Slash, Brignac, Patrice Marie, Colors, Patrice Marie, Con, Dash, Colors, Patrice. In the spring of 2016, Colors married partner, Janaya Khan, a black transgender immigrant born and raised in in Toronto, who is one of the organizing members of Black Lives Matter Toronto chapter, blacklivesmatter.ca, P.O. Box 303315, York Lanes, New York, Ontario, North York, Ontario, M3J, 
J2C1. Colors is a co-founder of Black Lives Matter and is the group's West Coast coordinator. Colors describes herself as a queer polyamorous practitioner of Ifa, a religion, a religious tradition from Nigeria. Friday, November 27, 2015, published, quote, I was trained to believe, quote, I was trained to believe in an international fight against U.S. imperialism, unquote. This is uh, Daily Coast. Article is entitled Integrity Matters, an interview with Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors. Cullors herself ends events with a prayer, she recites, from Asata Shakur's letter to the movement, quote, it is our duty to fight for freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains, unquote. Colors produced and directed a theatrical piece titled Power from the Mouths of the Occupied, which accused the U.S. of perpetrating, quote, state violence, unquote, and, quote, genocide, unquote, against African Americans. <clears throat> At a 2015 Netroots Nation conference, oh, I remember that one. Colors led chants shouting, if I die in police custody, burn everything down. Ellipsis, rise the fuck up. That is the only way motherfuckers will, like you will listen. Colors was arrested in Los Angeles on Monday, October the 3rd, when she and fellow Black Lives Matter Los Angeles organizer Melina Abdullah and Nikki O'Cook forced their way into an LAPD closed press conference. All three were released several hours later. At the age of 18, Colors volunteered with the Bus Riders Union, a public transportation advocacy group organized by a Los Angeles-based think tank known as the Labor and Community Strategies Center, LCSC. You can find this at www.thestrategycenter.org, which is an FRSO front organization. Colors has been a community organizer for the L at LCSC since 2001. She was trained to be an activist by former Weather Underground leader, Eric Mann. He is the founder of the LCSC in Los Angeles and has been its director for 25 years. Mann is also founder and co-chair of the Bus Riders Union. Later, she was hired by the LCSC to train high school students in political organizing tactics. LCSC works to build consciousness, leadership, and organization among those who face discrimination, societal attack, people of color, women, immigrants, workers, LGBT, people, youth, unquote. Man exhorts followers to become, quote, anti-racist, anti-imperialist, unquote, activists. Both the Bus Riders Union and the Labor and Community Strategy Center are located at 3780 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1200, Los Angeles, California, 90010-2843. Its phone number is 213-387-2800. Colors has been the executive director of the Coalition to End Sheriff Violence in L.A., in LA jail since 2012, advocating for a civilian commission to oversee the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department in order to curb abuses by officers. Colors also co-founded a prison activism organization 2014 called Dignity Empower Now that succeeded in advocating for a civilian oversight board. The group is located at 3655 South Grand Avenue, Suite 240, Los Angeles, California, 90007. Its phone number is 213-745-7135. Colors also helped the Organization for Black Struggle, OBS, get funding, and the OBS is considered a part of her BLM network. Colors holds a BA in Religious Studies from UCLA, completed in 2012. All three BLM founders have been named in the following lawsuits. 616 CV 0259 TMC KFM date filed on the 7th, or no, I'm sorry, 7 20, uh, 2016 in South Carolina. Civil case filed by Jackie Logan against BLM for violation of civil rights. Jackie Logan plaintiff versus Black Lives Matter organization Patrice Colors, Opal Tometi, Alicia Garza, Derek Qu Quarles, Dexter Scarborough, 
Brandon Johnson, Tenel, Tenalia, Little John, Tenalia, Little John, uh, Chatteresia, Neil, KKK, Defendants, 316, CV, 02010, L. Clayman, with a K, versus Obama, et al., date filed, 7-9-2016 in Texas, civil case complaint, complaint filed by Clayman, who is the operator of freedomwatch.org and judicialwatch.org against BLM and others for damages and relief arising out of the threats, severe bodily injury, and or deaths, future deaths, emotional harm, and imminent fears of death and or serious bodily harm resulting from Black Lives Matter leaders. Defendants repeatedly incited supporters to engage in threats of and attacks to cause serious bodily injury or death upon police officers, Jews, and Caucasians. Larry Clayman, plaintiff versus Barack Hussein Obama, Louis Farrakhan, Eric Holder, Reverend Al Sharpton, Rashad Turner, Opal Tometi, Patrice Cullors, Alicia Garza, D. Ray McKesson, defendants. End report. 2016, the 10, 16, 2016. Tactical Rabbit Incorporated has always protects the names of its contractors, clients, and sources, regardless of circumstances. All activities will be planned and carried out in strict adherence to Intelligence Community Directive 304, ICD 304, International Trafficking Arms Regulations, ITAR, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, FCPA, and all applicable U.S. laws and regulations, including but not limited to all SEC rules and regulations. Tactical Rabbit Incorporated is a private intelligence company. Tactical Rabbit is not an investment advisor, accounting firm, law firm, or consumer reporting agency and does not provide any investment, financial, accounting, legal, or credit advice. Tactical Rabbit Incorporated. <clears throat> Intelligence may not be used to make decisions about consumer credit, employers, insurance, tenant screening, or any other purposes that would require FCRA compliance. Tactical Rabbit Incorporated does not have any affiliation with or connection to the Central Intelligence Agency or Federal Bureau of Investigation. The employees of Tactical Rabbit do not work for the federal government or any state government nor did they have any affiliation with either. In some cases, Tactical Rabbit Incorporated will attempt to facilitate a federal investigation through channels similar to those to which any private citizen has access. Tactical Rabbit's contractors, employees, and consultants will keep all client and other sensitive information strictly confidential. Tactical Rabbit Incorporated will use the utmost diligence to guard and protect confidential information and trade secrets. <laughs> Tactical Rabbit Incorporated and the client agree that at all times, during and subsequent to the performance of any services, client information will be kept confidential not divulge, and not divulge, communicated, or used except to the extent deemed necessary by Tactical Rabbit Incorporated in providing services to the client. So, for all of you who have a soft spot for socialism, who have a soft spot for Black Lives Matter, who have a soft spot for the Palestinians, these are your allies. Cop killers who want racial apartheid in the United States. And they'll burn your cities down. And they'll shoot people who are protecting you from people who shoot people. This is civil war. Tactical rabbit. If you don't believe me, just look it up. All you got to do, it's on Facebook. You can find them on Facebook. Fuck with them. Ask them. Ask them to prove what they have to say. I'm, I'm sure they will actually probably give you plenty of clarity on 
anything you want to know. Yep. We're going to bend the lamp post with you commies. Helicopter rides, Mickey Mouse is all around, bend the fucking lamppost with them. That's what I say. 